Let's get started in integrating Braintree into Magento. We're going to go to the left menu, click on Stores, and then Configuration. Then we want to scroll down to the Sales category and open that up and click on Payment Methods. We're going to find the Braintree Payments by Gene Commerce here. To the far right, go ahead and click on Configure so we can get started with the configuration. For title, I'm going to put a more descriptive message here, but you can put whatever you want. This is a customer facing label here. Environment, we can do sandbox or production. Payment action, make sure this matches your business model, whether you want to authorize and delayed capture or straight capture and submit for settlement right away with intent sale. Go ahead and obtain your credentials from your Braintree account and paste them here. After you've pasted the credentials, you can click on validate credentials just to check that they are correct. Let's go ahead and do that now. Perfect. Moving on, enable card payments. We can put yes. Enable PayPal through Braintree. Go ahead and switch it to yes only if you've already connected PayPal inside of your Braintree dashboard and only if you plan and wish to use PayPal through Braintree. You do have the option of using PayPal standalone above here and it will not be connected to your Braintree account. So for this example, let's go ahead and put yes. Enable PayPal credit through Braintree. Yes. Enable vault for card payments. This is your preference. If you want to allow customers who have an account with your website to also save their card for future use, you can put yes. This tokenization and vaulting process is secure. You don't handle any of the PCI compliant. Braintree takes care of that burden. Enable vault CVV re-verification. We recommend yes for security for customers to have to retype their CVV even though their card is already saved. Moving on to the advanced brain tree settings section, go ahead and open up that section. Vault title, so for those stored cards, you can change the title if you want, this one is fine for me. Merchant account ID, the merchant account ID controls the currency, so if this particular store view in your Magento store has a different currency, go ahead and put a different merchant account ID. Otherwise, if you leave it blank, it will use the default. Advanced Fraud Protection. If you use Braintree's basic fraud protection services, you do not need to enable this. You only need to enable this if you happen to enable Braintree's premium advanced fraud filters, which usually comes at an additional cost and doesn't come out of the box. So if you've paid for this and added this feature in your Braintree account, then go ahead and switch this to yes. Otherwise, you can leave it at no and still have fraud filters. We want to go down to debug and hit yes in case we want to review the logs later on. CVV verification, we do want to verify the CVV. For credit card types, I like to leave it at the four major cards selected. You can highlight and click all those or whichever ones you prefer. The section for country specific settings is Magento specific and not related to Braintree settings. So you can set those up as you wish. ACH to Braintree, you have to get this ACH feature first enabled in your Braintree account. So make sure you've already done that. If you have it, you can request this be enabled either through your Braintree sales rep or by going to help.braintreepayments.com. If you want to enable it, it's just a simple no to yes setting there. Apple Pay through Braintree. You need to add whatever domain name you are going to be testing this through inside of your Braintree dashboard. Whether this be a staging or test website, as well as your live website, you need to add that first inside of Braintree and you will be guided through some steps to upload a file on a specific location on the website. After that has been done, then you can come in here and enable it, as well as match the payment action to whatever business model you're using this for. It's important to note that Magento does not vault the Apple Pay payments through Braintree. Even if you put enable vault for car payments, yes, it will not do this for Apple Pay. Some merchants who use payment action authorize for card payments switch Apple Pay payments to intent sale. Since these Apple Pay payments are not vaulted and you cannot create a brand new authorization and settlement if an authorization expires. So just keep that in mind for your processes. Merchant name, that will just be the label shown to Apple Pay customers, so you will want to switch that to your current store name. Moving on to the next section, local payment methods. This only applies if any of the local payment methods listed has been pre-enabled in Braintree. If I click on yes, you will see the methods here, and will only apply if the intent is sale. Moving on to the next section, Google Pay through Braintree. You can enable this here, 
There is no streamlined process inside of your Braintree dashboard to enable this Google Pay. It's just a checkbox inside of your Braintree dashboard, but you must apply and get approved for a Google Pay Merchant ID, whether it be Sandbox or production, externally outside of our processes using Google Pay's application. Once you've gone through that with them and they've approved you, then you can come back and paste your Merchant ID here. Again, make sure your payment action is the correct one, authorize or intent sale, cosmetic options with the button color here, as well as whichever cards you want to accept. I'm gonna leave this no for now, I don't have a merchant ID to test. Moving on to the next section, Venmo through Braintree. This also needs to be applied through and enabled inside of the Braintree dashboard. It normally only takes a few minutes to get approved instantly, and then you can hit yes, as well as set your payment action to the correct one. PayPal through Braintree. As stated before, PayPal needs to be enabled inside of Braintree first. You can leave the title as is, Vault enabled. By default, it's set to no. It's lesser used with PayPal, but you are able to enable Vault so that the PayPal payments also get stored in Magento. If you set it to yes, you must request that a feature called Reference Transactions be enabled in your PayPal account. We can go down to Payment Action and make sure that that one is the correct one that you want for PayPal payments. You can set up your country settings as well. Require customer billing address. We want to leave this on no, otherwise you will get errors and people will not be able to pay. The only way that you can set this to yes and actually receive the customer billing address from the buyers' PayPal accounts is if you also get this feature enabled in your PayPal account if you truly need it. Otherwise, you will always collect the billing address that they typed on your website. Debug, we want to enable this. Display on shopping cart, we want to leave it on yes. The next three sections are mainly cosmetic and layout positioning settings for that PayPal button. You can configure them as you see fit, such as disabling any funding options, customizing the button shape, size, color, and you can do that for all sections. 3D verification settings section, let's go ahead and open that up. 3D verification is a feature that must be enabled inside of Braintree prior to enabling this. So make sure you get that requested also in help dot braintreepayments.com. I'm going to leave it on no. And the last section, dynamic descriptors. You can leave these blank. Braintree already has this information from you when you applied. If you want to override anything based on your Magento store views, feel free to do so. Although you must follow the fine print exactly as it's formatted. If even one character is off in the formatting, you will not be able to take absolutely any payments. So you want to make sure that you test that first to ensure that the formatting is correct. Once everything is all set, we can hit save config at the top right. And that's it. We have now successfully integrated Braintree into Magento.